it's painfully clear that you're not from around here. You two ain't half bad in a fight. You got what I like to call potential. Big word. I know a few, but we can't sit in the hub forever. There's only so much food here, even if we can afford it. I know. I'm getting hungry again. That you are. Quite the appetite. The road beckons, my fellows, and we must answer its call. Must we? Yes, we must. Otherwise, we'll starve, or we'll get killed, or picked up, or enslaved. Look, I'll be honest. Given your recent history, you don't have much of a shot. I say, we travel south. Climate's better, and that means a better chance of food. Do you know what's out there? I know a little. So you can take us to somewhere then? Somewhere safe? Safe is a relative term, but yes, I can take you somewhere. Good. Come sunrise, we'll leave this place behind. And what if one of us gets hurt, injured? Well, we'll just run back with our tail between our legs or our arms hanging off. Yeah. I suppose we will. Shoulder, guys, gals, and legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. We have our band of three ready to leave this place behind. For now, for the time being. It might not be that way forever. We might need to run back here. It is entirely within the realm of possibility. We're going to start off and see if there is anything else that this good man might have to sell us. So Park's going to go and have a word. And that there is. There is a little bit more food. We don't have really anything else. We could look at buying ourselves a meat wrap or some Gohan. The Gohan is of higher nutritional value and it actually costs less. So we're probably going to be better off getting some Gohan here. I mean, the meat wrap is good in and of itself, but I mean, just, uh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, we also have a wanted notice here for a Greenlander named Els. Fat as a bug house, apparently. Public nuisance wanted on account of multiple bar thefts. So we can take this for free. So I think, uh, I think we will. Uh, that should be for free. Yes, it is. Uh, it didn't cost us anything. Gohan, though, will cost us. We're going to go ahead and chuck that uh, into our inventory just for the time being. We'll see who is the hungriest and we'll kind of try and divvy it out that way. Um, so let's have a look. Hobbs. So Sand, you're looking okay. You know what? We're going to go ahead and put it in the backpack. If someone really wants it, they'll have it. I don't know who that was. It could have been Park. I'm not sure. I uh, see it didn't all go, so that's good. So it is it is leaving some behind. So you don't eat all of the value in one go. That's good value right there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so we're gonna be hitting the road and we are gonna be heading south from here. Where south? Nowhere in particular to start off with because while Hobbs does know his way around, he doesn't know his way around as good anymore. Yeah, he's not super sharp, our Hobbs, but he's okay. He's okay. Um, now, let's just have a quick look at what we're rocking at the moment. So, Hobbs, I think it probably is going to be worth us having... Uh, giving you some kind of weapon that's going to give you a melee attack bonus. I mean, like, we'll probably leave him as he is for now, for the time being, but we will want to try and change that up. I'm happy with the staff, though. I am happy with that. So, this should be leading us off in a southern direction so to speak let's hope we're okay we've got enough food to last us for a little while now the gohan is going to power us through it'll just all come down to how long it is going to do that for we're going to keep our eyes open in this big old valley for one there could be patrols and two just for any kind of fights that we might see happening along the way because we want to be able to attempt to take advantage of them because we are still scavengers primarily we could do mining we could earn some cats that way we could very easily do that kind of near the bar there isn't a huge amount of food here though um the turnover 
that we're going to kind of get each day from that isn't going to be amazing. Um, and really, park and sand, mining is the last thing that they want to do right now. If they had to, if they were starving and they needed to do it, they would, but they will avoid it. Looking a little green here, we've got some fertility. Not a bad little spot of land. Now, at any stage in Kenshi, you can put down your roots. You can build things wherever you want. Um, there is a limit to how close you can build close to main settlements. Uh, but there is a whole heap of building options out there. And we're approaching an area that seems to be... Uh, there's quite a lot of scrap. And we're looking at goats, I think. Yeah, there we go. Hmm, now that is tempting. If we can get a goat by themselves, that would be amazing. I would be very, very happy with that. But for us to be able to do that, it's going to be a little difficult. Let's just see if we can attack that goat unprovoked. We can. Okay, well, let's just try and see if we can get this one goat for now. Hobbs, yeah, so we're going to take you off block. We're going to take you off ranged. Let's just have a look at everyone else. So we're going to take you off hold. I'm going to take you off ranged as well. Okay, let's just, uh, we want to get a little bit more separation here. Okay, yeah, we've got, we've definitely got this goat's attention. Now, I probably could have looked for a slightly younger goat. This is an adult. It has an attack and strength of six. It's got decent decks as well. You can see it's actually got uh, a pretty decent head and chest health, which is uh, what you're wanting to damage. So we're going to go ahead and attack the target. If we go attack all that uh, group that was up there, all the goats they would turn around and start to attack us so let's see we have park and sand going out sand with the first hit there let's go ahead and slow things down a little bit here sand did get hit Hobbs is getting some hits in here okay sand again with a good hit park actually took quite a hit there quite a ram from the goat we're getting some wax in getting some wax in its right arm is nearly completely damaged okay we're getting somewhere come on team we've got this you're going down, goat. You're going down. Let's just check on everyone's health. So, yeah, Sand's chest isn't amazing right now. We're actually going to put him on block. Um, Hobbs, you're doing fine, Hobbs. You're going to be okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, those 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 hits are hurting. <laughs> Come on, team. Come on. This is one goat. Now, granted, goats are pretty tough in this. We've nearly got it down. Just need to do a little bit more damage to it there, and we'll have it. Uh, I think I'm going to take Sand off block now because uh, he looks like he's going to be pretty safe there. It's probably Hobbs that we can chuck on block, seeing as um, it seems seems to have its attention directed towards him. There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Great. So I think Sand was going to do a little bit of uh, medicking there, but Parks jumped straight to it. Uh, now, Sand, you do have... Yeah, you've got some supplies on you, so you should be able to start applying some bandages so let's do that shall we yeah let's do let's do hobs then we want to try and get uh well what we should do right now before anything else is get the meat from it um we're going to go ahead and take that as well i think i just chucked it all on the ground because i'm clever like that animal skins we're going to grab as well uh so the animal skins we can sell and the food we can obviously cook up. That's a really decent amount of meat. That was great. So yes, we did get injured in that, but uh, it was very much worth it, I would say. I don't have a med kit. You don't have a med kit, Hobbs. We're going to keep the med kit with the others, but uh, we'll make sure that Hobbs is getting healed up. And then Sand, in turn, will get healed up as well. The morning is with us now. We want to try and get off this path as soon as possible, just because, um, well, nosy folks will... Be spying on us and looks like Parker's holding his head yeah unfortunately he did get a injury to the head could be worse I mean already this is a, a, a successful day for our for our team uh, we also would have got some skill and fighting from that as well which yay go us all right we can see that his skills have been lessened a bit there okay so we're gonna get the three of us we're just gonna go ahead move off the road for now just so we can get a little bit of elevation see more of the area then we're going to start a fire uh and yeah starting a fire up high you're probably going to be seen but um well i think we'd rather see people in the distance 
especially th people like Hungry Bandits and the rest. So, let's go to camping. We're going to make a campfire, and we're going to plop it down right about there, which is great. Now, sand. Uh, who has them? Park has them right now. So, Park, we can go ahead and give him that job. And so, what he's going to do is that he's automatically going to put food into a fire, should he have raw food in the future. And uh, he's going to get that nice and cooked. We're going to go put those in here. There we go, look at that, we've already got a dried piece of meat, which is great. We'll put it in there, and because it's in a backpack, that means that anyone can eat it. So finally, we're going to start getting some weight back on us, and I think if we have a look at sand, we'll be able to see that. So if I go take that armor off for a moment here, and we'll go take your shirt off too, buddy, we can see that his muscle mass is starting to return in a big way. He's actually looking a little, uh, a little flabby here, but... Um, we can see that he's got a lot of that back, whereas before he was not looking good at all. But now, yeah, now they're starting to eat well. They're getting that hunger back. Things are starting to look up for our team. They really are. That goat kill, really big mood booster for them. Not that mood's a thing, but you know, I just think overall it would really make a big difference to their outlook going forward. It's still the morning. There's a chance that we could catch up with that herd, potentially try and get a smaller deer. That's deer, goat. We did see a few that were there, so there is a chance. We might be able to do it. We're going to go ahead and dismantle that. Okay, all right, team. We're going to continue to move along. Uh, we want to be running together. They seem to be keeping pace just fine. And... I think, yeah, this is the valley that we want to kind of try and follow. We're seeing mist off in the distance. What looks like mist or fog or something of the like. That's what we're going to try and go for. We'll take a little bit of a shortcut over this hill if we can. And we will start running at an accelerated time rate. Uh, we did get injured, so we want to be careful that we don't run into anyone that's going to try and do us harm. That's why I'm trying to stay off the road where I can avoid it, because, um, yeah. More often than not, bad things are going to roam around the road. But we also want to make sure that there is a way down. It looks like there is over here. We're seeing the start of a river. What could be quite a long river. Um, let's go take you off the lock hobs, just so in the event that anything terrible does happen. Uh, looks like we are going to have to go back down. Damn. So we couldn't quite make it there. Oh well, what can you do? Oh yeah, we're having to go all the way back down to the main road. Damn. Well, it is what it is. Let's just have a look this way, make sure that there are no patrols coming. Alright. And move through here. Great big... Valley. See, this, this is this, that's what the... Uh, Holy Nation should be working on carving those things. Lord of the Rings style, on either side of a great river. Well, I say a great river, it's pretty small, but for Kenshi it's big. This is mostly a desert waste, so seeing any kind of water must be a pretty welcome sign. Which side of it do we want to stay on? Well, it looks like we're moving towards some quite heavy vegetation. right team we are for now so I would like to at the very least have one sleeping bag with us because that way we can recover while we're out on the road and not have to pay for beds that'd be nice that'd be nice we're just gonna let the loading happen at this stage just because it takes a just a signal or two for it to kick in and we don't want to uh, miss anything that might be rushing towards us at high speeds A little bit further. So Park was right in a sense that, uh, well, there was there was there's something here. We just don't know what yet. These great big root systems that seem to sit above the ground. Let's get a little lower. See what's ahead of us. Can't see much going into this area. But there's water, a decent amount of vegetation. None of it super edible by the looks of things, but, uh, well, we never know what we might find. 
So let's keep moving, team. Further and further. The visibility in here is not great, which means that we can very easily be snuck up on by all manner of creature. We are loading again, so let's just give it a second as we look ahead and try and make out what we can with the road ahead. Here we go. Nice and easy. So, the way that the map works in game, I'm kind of imagining that uh, our team are mapping out their path as they're going. You know, slowly taking into account um, landmarks and things like that and using them as a way to keep track. Now, it looks like there's a slight divergence in the path there, but we're going to try and follow this. This does seem to be like a pathway, and it is cutting through a lot of the vegetation, so... I mean, I imagine we're perhaps even seeing um, footprints in amongst the mud. But we are now in the swamp. And it's Hobbs again. Stinks like musty old grandma around here. Yeah, we would we would have to agree with you, buddy. And rain. Rain is starting to. This is gonna be a pretty interesting sight for both Park and Sand. Now we don't know with Park. He he might have seen a little bit of this before in his past, but for Sand, this is entirely new for him. Most of his life has been spent. And rebirth and yeah all of this is all of this is new all this vegetation the water I mean they had rains in rebirth just uh, not very often at all so if Hobbs has been through here it was probably a good long while ago but hey <laughs> so far so good right I will tell you all that uh, that can change in the blink of an eye. And I'm sure we will notice something like that. So now that we've reached like a really big route here, we might go ahead and just flick up our map for a second to see exactly where we are. So we're in this region currently. We're kind of skirting around the outside of it and we have two choices at this stage. It looks like we can go to the right or we can go to the left. I think we're gonna go to the left. I think staying in this area for now as a little comforting for our two. Well, I say our two, our two slaves that is. For Hobbs, he probably isn't incredibly fond of the area. Yeah, so we're still skirting around the outside. And we're hearing creatures calling out. That's, that's fantastic, that's fine. There's nothing wrong here at all. Everything is just fine and dandy. We're in the border zone now, so we're actually counted as being outside of the swamp. Hmm. So we could just continue to follow this path. It looks like it's gonna kind of skirt around the outside of this place. And you know what? I think that's probably the best thing for them to do right now. I can't see them adventuring off by themselves into this area. They didn't see any um, trails that seemed to lead them further into it. So for the time being, they're going to avoid just wading through the area. But this path, this path has got to lead somewhere. It's led partway through the swamp. So I think they're all hoping that there might be some kind of settlement. Now I don't think they've touched any of the food at this stage. No, they haven't. We still have those two skins as well that we can sell off should we encounter any kind of merchants along the road. Yeah, this is still... Still kind of swampy, still kind of arid, definitely is the border zone, and oh, we have discovered a swamp village within the swamp itself. So we've, we've probably spied that off in the distance, yeah, we can see something there, so let's see if this pathway is going to lead us towards it. It may, it may not, but well, we know that there is something out here, or it could just be that uh, Hobbs has recalled a little bit of his... Uh, navigational knowledge and knows his way to it 
let's have a quick look in a moment on the map and see if this is actually leading us towards it or if it's just going around still. And we'll give it a second to load or two. Um, there is something ahead of us and it does seem to be kind of taking us in, in the direction. Um, we want to be quite cautious here because, um, again, when we see things on the map, I kind of put that down to them recalling something that they've seen or they've heard in the past. And I'm thinking that Hobbs is recalling seeing something or hearing something about um, either highwaymen or creatures. Looking at this, I am not sure which. Could also be the screams. The screams aren't good. <laughs> Screams are never good. Nice and easy, team. Nice and easy. Ah, oh dear. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is an Iron Man-style playthrough, which means that we don't reload. So, should something horrible happen, that's it. That's what happened. And I'd really prefer that didn't happen. So we're going to try and avoid some things here. So we did pass by something. It's a swamp raptor next. Okay, so that's that's not that's that's not frightening. We, we've 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 had swamp raptors before, and we've been okay. Now we are quite close to that village. I don't think that this path is actually going to line up. But look at that. We can see torches in the distance. Now in my mind, that would be enough for them to uh, want to investigate this at the very least. And yeah, it is some kind of. Uh, little village out here in the swamp uh, we need to find a way in and it looks like there is a way in so let's just approach and we'll just go with a bit of caution who are these folks here swampers okay and we're just going to uh we're going to walk in as a group here don't mind us we're just going to uh we're just going to come inside perhaps trade a few things they seem to be perfectly happy with us roaming through here. And, um, yeah, I mean, that gives you a little bit of an idea of the scale here. Sand is a big dude. Park's also big as well. <laughs> but Sand... Sand is a very large individual. Okay, team. Moving inside. Uh, so, let's see. What do we have inside this little town here? We've got what looks to be like an explorer's... Uh, shop of some kind we might have some other shops here kind of unnamed uh we can buy buildings here as well um should we desire that even just one of these little swamp shacks isn't all that bad i mean it's not terrible team let's go ahead and start uh just jogging for now we'll head inside and see what's what Looking for something? Well, we very well might be. Let's just consolidate our goods. And, well, that's us consolidating our goods. Park, go ahead and have a word with the man, if you would, please. I'd like to think that Park kind of semi-intimidates the people here as well, so... Gives us a little bit of a bonus. Okay, so we're fencing these, apparently. I guess because it's, like, seen as poaching, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Um, so the sell value... Average price is 240 selfies. Oh, okay, yeah, so we're... Yeah. Hmm. Let's see how much we are actually able to get for this. That's the average price. Price markup is a lot. Okay. Sell you two. All right, made a little bit of coin. Not bad. So we could buy some food here. Ration packs are great. Um, really, really decent amounts of nutrition there. But they're very, very expensive. Um, let's have a look. The Gohan is actually a little less at the moment. 25% less than normal. Um, we could buy some of that. But I think it might be worth us trying to buy some other things from here, potentially. Um, namely, oh, why are the sleeping bags so expensive? <laughs> yeah, namely, sleeping bags. Um, they will save us in the long run. And it does mean that we can heal when we're out on the road. So I'm, I'm very tempted by that. I'm very tempted. I'm also half tempted to get a straw hat for sand. Uh, this costs next to nothing to buy. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got a tricorn hat here. Very nice. Uh, the value of that's a little bit more though. And the iron hat, same kind of deal there. 
any other kind of clothing that we can get them. Not really. Um, it's it's worth spending cats, but at the same time, I'm, I'm kind of wary. I want to hold on to them. Um, I think it's worth us getting the splint kit. It is expensive. Well, it's not super expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it because, um, well, splinting injuries can make a, a really decent distant, uh, difference in just allowing you to get mobility again when you might not have had it before. I'm tempted to get the wooden backpack for Hobbs just because he doesn't have one currently. That means that we can carry a little bit more stuff with us. A um, little expensive, but what's good about wooden backpacks is it means we can stack things with it. It does reduce his combat skills by a decent amount. So what I should be doing out of practice is dropping our, our bags, or rather putting our bags into our inventory while we're fighting. Um, the reason I usually like to drop them is because it gets rid of the total weight. But I think we're going to do that. It, it is expensive, yes, but um, I'm thinking we're going to be able to work that back in the future. Um, do we want to buy some dried meat for now? I think we're actually looking okay, food-wise, for the time being. But yeah, I would have I would have really liked to have gotten some more clothing out of that. But hey, you can't always win. As for sand, we're gonna go ahead and chuck this thing on instead. It doesn't it doesn't give him armor, it does give him a perception bonus, which I'm in favor of. And um, I like the look of it on him. What can I say? What can I say? Uh, so we have this little turban that we can go ahead and sell off. Um, we're going to go give that to Park so he can do that. And Hobbs, we're going to go get you to... You're already wearing the backpack, you legend. Okay, great. Show me your goods. Um, we're going to go ahead and sell that. Now, the other thing that we can do here in this town, we can potentially steal from them. Now, Sand is pretty... He's pretty good. And... These three, you know, they're not, they're not the most honorable sorts. So, it's a potential for us to be able to do that. It is maybe a little dangerous for us to do that. But we could certainly try. We're just going to pop up here. I don't know how we teleported, but, um, you know, that's okay. Um, let's see, who's in here? Who, who, who are you? Uh, you're staying home. Your name is Horse. You are part of the Swampers faction. Okay, horse. Um, unfortunately, no bars or anything like that here. That's our only real shop. Um, and you can see that they have, you know, kind of decent protection. What we're going to do is we're going to get um, old Park and Hobbs to just uh, chill here for a moment or two. You know, just wait in town should anything go... Horrifically wrong. Now what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can drop our stealth. Or rather, improve our stealth a little bit here. We're going to go ahead and just give that pack to park for a second to hold on to. Um, is there anything here that is uh, negating or rather making our stealth worse? No. No, we should be okay overall. Sand. How How is your stealth, Sand? It's, it's pretty good. His thievery isn't great. Which means that more often than not, people are going to discover him because he's made some kind of sound, some kind of noise. But we're going to go ahead and sneak up towards this property here. Seeing as that guard has just walked away, we're just going to uh, hang outside for a moment or two. Then we're going to start sneaking. Uh, we are being semi-seen by someone, but I think we should be able to get in here. No, okay, we're alright. We're doing a full-on narrator run. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a walk, sneak inside here. Okay. Um, let's just go close that door. So we're not being seen right now. Oh, and I opened it again. Okay, Sand, what do we have inside of here? Um, we have fuel. Okay, let's see if we can grab the fuel. We should be able to grab most things here. Um, he is very close right now. Water jug, water jug, cup, wooden bowl. So these things are, are just things that we're going to want to sell. Um, there is nothing else in here. So we're just going to try and... Sneak our way out of here. Okay. That's great. And uh, just come on down here. Yeah, so he was aware of us there at the end, but he didn't catch us doing anything untowards. We were just looking for the restroom. We were looking for the long drop. That's what we were doing. Um, so let's see what we came away with. We got some water jugs. Really not worth that much at all. Stolen from Beak. So, Beak must be an individual. Um, 
I don't know whether or not I would be able to sell these things back to him. We can have a look and see what the fencing chance might be. Um, I hope this man's name isn't Beak. We will be able to figure that out, whether or not he has a little name tag on that says Beak. This is Urib. Okay, so let's just talk to Urib for a second. How can I help? Show me what you got. Um, fencing chance 27%. So we can see that he's probably not going to buy those things from us. Okay, that's fine. There's no one else here that's going to buy anything, but there might be other people that we could potentially um, <clears throat> acquire some goods from. There isn't too much, though, in this little swamp village, in this little town. So I think uh, I think we don't want to linger here forever. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to, we're going to gather back up our team. Um, we could wait until night. Actually, it's close enough. Yeah, it is. It really is close enough. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to wait till nightfall. We're going to go back in. We're going to give that another shot. So let's see. We want to start transferring things here to park. Uh, the fuel the fuel's worth an okay amount, it would seem. Most of it's just crap, really, though. Okay, park. Let's go ahead and just click that stuff into your inventory. Arrange it. Not bad. Not half bad. Because um, this way we might actually be able to steal that backpack. Uh, sorry, backpack, uh, sleeping roll. And and other things as well. Like, there is a good chance that we could get a few things here that could help out. So we're just going to pretend that we're uh, hanging out here, having a good time. And we're going to let time pass. There's nowhere else that we can really sleep, so we'll just hang outside. And yes, we're in the rain. But it's an okay change. And see us accepting it. Oh, it's getting onwards, 8 o'clock. It's probably not going to get really dark until about 10. What we want is to have uh, proper darkness. Well, for one, so that he goes to sleep. Um, we should see the store close around about 10 or 11 o'clock. Okay. 9 o'clock, we're on our way. Uh, we can also potentially work some of these fields as well. Um, rice weed. Hmm. We're not going to interfere in that. We're going to let them do their thing. Getting onwards to 10. So the second that we see this door close, we know that we're going to be good within an hour or two to have a go at it. There is a chance that the store might not close. Now, bars don't close. Most stores do close, though. We're hearing screaming. Um, let's just keep our eyes out towards the front as well, because quite often there is uh, river raptors that do an attack in these areas. And look at that. Just like that. Night is properly upon us. Okay. So, Sand, how about you just rock on out over this way here? Look at that dying sun. We're going to go ahead and start sneaking. Now, it says we're still in full light right now, which um, we shouldn't be. So, we're just going to practice our narrow show run for now. And they're just going to think that Sand is a little... Well, he's... He's a little different, right? Just <laughs> look at him go. Look at him do his thing. They're not going to interrupt him while he's doing that. Uh, and by doing this, we are actually improving our stealth. Funnily enough. Uh, so I think the reason that we're still in full light is because of the light that's actually around here. Um, but there really isn't that much of it, though. We should be in some kind of shade here. I'm actually really surprised that we're not. Okay. It looks like it is, we are starting to get it now, so we're just going to go around the corner here, if possible. It's going to be a little tricksy. Just going to hang out here. Pretend everything's okay. Don't know if she's actually watching us right now. She kind of is, kind of isn't. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can... Just reach me around the corner subtly. Okay. Alright. Now I think at this stage, Sand is probably going to give a signal to these two to just get out of town. Get out of town. Wait maybe over here. In stealth. <laughs> just in case things go wrong. Because they can. And these people have crossbow turrets. 
Okay. We'll start sneaking. Just hang over there. Sand, how about you poke your head inside? Okay. We were seen for a second. We're just going to close the door. Wasn't enough for her to raise an alarm. Okay, so let's see. What do we have just on the shelves in here? Because things that are on the shelves are going to be easier for us to grab. I want to make sure that we're actually... Sp we'll start walking, but we want to be sprinting when we get the hell out of here. So we've got raw iron, we've got tools, we got armor placing, fabric, and an emperor statue. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and try and steal these things first. Let's check our inventory and see how we're doing. So the iron is going to be worth something to someone. Uh, but if we can come away with things that are better in here, I will be very happy about that. Let's just see what we got in here. Mm, stealing chance 54. Uh, see, we could try and wear something like this. It is light armor, so light armor is definitely going to be better for starting off. Um, we'll just go ahead and check, and this one is locked. So, yeah, we want to go ahead and see if we can open this thing. Mm. Okay, what do we got? Oh, look at all that food. Look at all that food. But look at the chance to steal. It's not great. Um, okay, what do we want to do here? Um, I think we're going to go ahead and drop this iron. Because, um, while it is worth an okay amount, the weight isn't worth it. Uh, that's okay. Let's see if we can just arrange things a little bit here. Okay, it's going to be 52% no matter what. That's medium armor. Um, really, what I'm looking to see is if there are any negatives that are associated with uh, using any of these armor types. That's got pretty good he head coverage across the way. It's giving you a minus to perception. Those are, all, those are all standard grade. That's just straight up a pretty damn good hat. But also food. Food, food, food. We've got blueprints. Um, okay, here's the thing. We're probably going to get spotted here. Um, with that being the case, um, what's the most important thing for us right now? Looking at the resistances here, the coverage on this is pretty good. It gives us acid protection as well. Really, I think the iron hat's a pretty damn decent uh, piece of armor. So we're going to roll our dice here, and we were caught stealing. Uh, now he hasn't like fully woken up at this stage We can try again We got damn it. Okay. Now he is awake. He is definitely awake uh, So we need to get the hell out of here. So He hasn't like seen us seen us yet. Okay Okay, now we need to run now is when we start sprinting now is when we get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. All right. So the alarm's been raised there, but we're okay. We should be able to get out of the town. So we came with something. We came with something certainly better than nothing. That does, however, mean we can never really shop there again. And that's okay. I think, I think I'm think i okay with that. I think the others are probably going to be okay with that as well. You see how slow they are at sneaking? Together, we're actually all pretty fast. But yeah, we want to be running together. Um, so unfortunately, at night, it is going to be very difficult to see where we are going. Um, we're currently by the swamp village still. That's not a road. So I think we want to try and make our way back towards the road that we saw. Um, yikes. This is not going to be super easy. Uh, we didn't go that far though. Actually, it was over this way. Or was it? I can't remember. And I don't want to be going into the water. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's try and see if we can orientate ourselves. It's going to be heading back this way, I think. Let's see if we can come across a path. We can hope for as much. So, it's been a semi-successful day for our team. We've come away with some resources. Resources that we can sell if we can make it to another vendor of some kind. And look at that. We found the road. A road. We don't really know where this is going to be taking us. We're hearing screaming again. Always good. So let's just carry along that road then, huh? Um, we need to grab back our pack, don't we? You're holding on to that. Good. There we go. All right. Go ahead and chuck that stuff in there. Won't slow him down. Okay. Getting a little low on uh, on the old mid packs though. 
So stealing them would have been a good choice as well. We're looking good overall. Park, how's that beast? Fantastic. Good stuff. Good stuff. And so we continue. And I really don't know where that's going to take us. Um, we can see some kind of settlement up on a ridge. Yeah, we can actually. We can just see these little, little bits of fire. Exile camp. And I think that's what we had seen up there. Oh no. Hmm. Now that I'm tempted. Exile camp. What direction would we have to go? Towards the, the firelight up there on the hill. Oh, and there is combat happening up there as well. Um, again, I'm going to chalk this up to Hobbs remembering as he kind of came past here, saw the lights on the hills and thought, yeah, I've, I've heard stories of an exile camp. Exiles like yourselves. Now, I hope when he's saying exiles, he's thinking of people from the Holy Nation. Uh, but it might not be. It might be exiles from other, some other kind of faction. So that might be quite dangerous. Uh, looking up here on the hill, we're looking at dust bandits. Um, the dust bandits, how are we looking faction-wise with them? So if we head into squad, and let's have a look at factions. Dust bandits, yeah. So we have seen some of them before. Let's see if we can avoid them. I don't know who they were fighting. But uh, let's not provoke them for the time being. Because dust bandits will not kill us, but they will, you know, attack us for food. Um, they might not have been attacking other people. They might have been getting attacked by river raptors or something else like. They've actually got a fair bit of f food just kind of lying around the place. I mean, we could try and steal some of that. Yeah, they've taken some damage. Hungry bandits. Ah, I see. I see. Into bandit combat. Um, right, so where was this exile camp in relation to where we are? Over that way, huh? Discovered way station. Okay. But I don't think we've seen it. Yeah, north of the exile camp. Well, I guess we'll be able to check it out, won't we? But yeah. Best we avoid them for the time being. We are going to have to start to try and fight small groups like that in time. Just uh, not quite yet. Um, right, I don't like how separated we're going from each other right now. We're in the Sten Desert now. Whole nother area for us to explore. Yeah, let's go ahead and pull back together if we can. Sand, are you going to come back in? Let's just kind of force them to. Just, we'll be safer that way. We've actually been... Uh, now, I've totally jinxed myself by saying this, but um, we've been very lucky so far on the road not to encounter anything that wants to eat us. Um, especially wandering through the swamps there, there is a good chance that we could come across some pretty horrific things that uh, really like the taste of people. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, oh, right. Okay. I see. Hmm. Band of Bones. Are you the exiles? Yeah. I... Maybe we could talk to them? We need to be ready to run, though, in the case that, uh... Things aren't good. Intruder? Oh, right. That's not good. That's not good at all. We are not intruding. I swear by it. Yeah, we don't want to talk to them. Wow, you are fast. What in the hell? Your athletics is insane. The stamina of a deserter. Um, who are you? Tora the Fearless. Yeah, you are. You just charged towards us. What a freaking badass. She's got great attack and defense. She, yeah, nope, nope, nope. So that's probably someone that we could um, potentially hunt for a bounty. And we're seeing some kind of settlement up there. Well, team, I think that's what we're going to explore. But we're going to try and avoid Tora and her friends because, um, yeah, we, we probably would not be able to defeat... No, I can say rightfully so. We could not defeat Tora. Uh, even with all of us trying our absolute best, we would not come close. So, we have a way station of some kind. 
I'm asking who the way station is for. Love to know. Get a great planet rise in the background. It's a little fireplace on the outside there. Okay. Anyone hanging out by the fire? Good thing to check first, I suppose. Nope, not currently. Okay, well let's um, move towards the front and see what kind of settlement this is. There is a bar, which is fantastic. Bars are always a great um, opportunity for us to find new people and new things. We're looking at ninja guards, tech hunters. Okay. Well, they seem to be welcoming enough in that they're not shooting at us. And they've got a little building off to the side there as well. Well, um, let's head into there to start with and just see what we're looking at. Ah, it is someone that wants to sell. It is a Sheik. Um, so all of our stuff should be with Hobbs. No, it's not. So let's go give that to him. Uh, and by Hobbs, I mean Park. That's totally what I mean. Hobbs, you don't have anything. Okay, Park, go have a chat with Ronin Construction Trader. Okay. <laughs> Great name. Uh, show me what you got. Okay, so yeah, construction goods primarily. So things that aren't going to really assist us at this stage of the game. But we can sell things and we have a good chance to fence them off here. So we might as well start making some dollars. Arrange all of those. Uh, the tools are going for a good amount, which is fan freaking tastic. 130 on each of those. The armor plating, pretty good as well. There we go. So we've nearly got back up to 2,000. Not bad. I will take it. I will take it. Speaking of taking, we could take all of those things as well, but um, we're not likely to. Uh, the bar is very full. We're seeing a lot of people. Um, so we want to be a, a bit cautious because people obviously can be dangerous from time to time. Um, so let's see who we've got around here. We've got a mercenary captain. So these are all mercenaries. We can hire these mercenaries um, for short durations. We've got a Sheik pacifier over there. So if we get trouble with the Sheik nation, we can sort ourselves out there. We have a Flotsam ninja just hanging out in the corner. Uh, a race that we haven't seen yet. This is uh, one of the Hivers. Yeah. Um, who do we have over here? Orlik of the of the tech hunters who we can't talk to. We can talk to Jar Longer. We can also talk to Spot. We've got a mercenary. Midden of the tech hunters. We can't talk to you. Um, Axe, we can talk to you. Okay. So we've got a few options here. And Stick, we can talk to. Uh, let's talk to Rasp first of all and just see what we have option wise for purchasing. Foods. Foods, foods, foods. And sleeping bags for 600. God damn. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Ain't going to happen. Would be nice, but no. We are not going to do that. Um, however, we are going to go and talk to some of the others that are around here. Um, I guess that, you know, this being the first hiver that we've seen that we can talk to, I think it's worth us uh, going and having a chat to see what we got. I'm looking to band up and get out of town. You looking to team up? Sure. I'm interested, but, uh, maybe tell me who you are first. Well, buy me another drink and I'll let you know everything. I'll tell you all about my pet gutter and Grimes, my steamy affair with the barman's daughter, and this weird-ass rash that's been giving me hell. <laughs> ah, the conversations in this, I love it, it's great. I, I think I get the picture, thanks, uh... How much are you charging? 3,000 cats safety money. That's all I need. Sorry, don't have enough. Well, that's that. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we guess we can still talk to some of the others around here. Let's see. Stick, you looking for some muscle? I'm looking... No, actually, we're not looking to hire bodyguards. I was going to say we're looking to hire bodyguards. We're not. Nothing. Sorry. She is a mercenary captain. Uh, so, even though it doesn't say she is, that's kind of what was going on there. 
Um, right, so we still got a few others that we can talk to here. We have uh, Spot, so yeah, let's go have a word with Spot. I'm, I shouldn't really be re recruiting people right now, but um, we're, we're just going to have a chat to a few more. You there? You hiring? Uh, <laughs> yes. How much are you charging? 3,000 cats. Have we got a deal? Damn, I don't have enough. Yeah, we're not going to have enough for people for, for a good long while. It's worth checking. It's worth checking. And seeing as we've got a little bit of cats, it might be worth us getting just a little bit more dried meat. Dried meat is pretty inexpensive. Oh, we just ate that right away. Okay. Mm. I mean, what are cats for? Screw it. Done. Done. It's done. It's done. We did it. We have a sleeping bag now. So should we need to, we can make use of that. Ah, so looking at this place, there ain't much else around it. So hanging out here for a long period of time probably isn't going to be the best thing in the world. Now, those exiles that are down there, we could maybe try and fight some of them. They are exiles after all, but... Uh, which I, I'm imagining we can earn a bit for bounty-wise. But in saying that, I don't know. I'm not sure. We can't see anything else around here. It just is mostly open desert, as far as we can see that way. And somehow that's a little bit more comforting than the swamps. The swamps have been, you know, okay to us. But I imagine that can change quite quickly. Especially the exiles there. We could just keep on trying to filter further around the outside. Make our way down. I mean, stealing from them kind of worked. We're not going to be able to get away with stealing from this group. No siree. We have a little bit more food. Yeah, I don't know what it's going to be. Which way is our team going to roam? You know what? We've experienced the swamp for a little bit. We're going to go for the open plains. I think being able to see a little bit more after, you know, a night of walking through there and just hearing screams and stuff like that. Not super nice. And look at that. We are already experiencing some fun. Bone dogs are coming to attack us. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back towards the town as fast as we possibly can. Poor Hobbs is going to be left behind a little bit there and uh, we're going to drop our packs and we're going to see if we can fight these things at least that is the plan so drop that pack I want you to drop that pack send I want you to drop that pack okay all right team let's get ready to fight them are oh, they going away no no you're not we're going to attack unprovoked and then we're going to attack all just like so so we should be ready to run back in the event of us getting screwed up by these things because there is a good chance that that's going to happen <laughs> very good chance that's going to happen okay sand with the opening hit oh wow he's going to go down very quickly but we can also see that a harpooner is going to work and sand is down sand is already down fantastic but we have reinforcements thankfully sand is trying to get back up Hobbs is doing all he can to stay on his feet. He is down. Park is still up. Sand is, Sand is trying to attack from the ground with his leg completely uh, unusable. And I think Park actually just accidentally got hit by one of the crossbow people, which can happen. Park, stay up. Stay up. And he is down. But Sand stands up. Not only just. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Now, they're healing each other. I don't know if they're going to heal us. But thankfully, Sand, being awake still, is going to be able to start healing them. So that was a hard-fought fight. Um, we're actually going to interrupt that very quickly to steal the meat from this thing. Uh, by doing that, it turns it to dead. We want to make sure that they stay dead. Um, let's see, who's worse off right now? Okay, Hobbs, Hobbs needs it, because uh, otherwise he will... I mean, he won't die. Um, that won't kill him but it's not great at the same time. And Sand's leg is quite badly injured. 
Not a great position for them to be in right now. Luckily, we're in a good place for this to happen. Getting downed out of somewhere where there could be slavers, neither good, because they will take you regardless of whether or not you look like a slave. If you're knocked out, they'll be like, cool, free money. Uh, right, there is some healing done there. We will get round to healing sand in a moment or two. We do have access to uh, the splint as well, which will help with his leg. Let's see. Yeah, we'll be able to get there. Looks like we'll be renting some beds here. Giving our wounds a chance to heal up. And Sand is going to start to try and heal himself. Um, Sand, you can walk now. Albeit not great. Um, wouldn't be too bad if you could go ahead and splint your wound. I think the others will probably be standing up by the time he does that. Park's good. We'll get you heading back over here. Yeah, he's fine. He is fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab one of the scavenger's backpacks. Um, is that the one that has the splint in? It is the one that has the splint kit in it. Um, so let's see. Send. Select yourself. Splint injuries. So we should see him able to splint his left leg. Uh, in saying that though, his first aid skill, how good is it? Field medic. So I think Park's, yeah, Park's a lot better. So we're going to leave it to Park to do those kinds of uh, duties. Because uh, he's, he's just a lot better at it. Um, so we'll go ahead, give the splint kit to him. Uh, and the reason I say that is because you can splint up to as much of as your skill, I think it is. So we'll go splint injuries. What a mess. Yes, what a mess indeed. Uh, so I can't actually tell if you have used the splint kit yet or not. I don't think you have. Well, I guess maybe we just can't do it yet. Poor Hobbs is still down. Um, he's in recovery coma right now because he's really not feeling too hot. Well, Park, go pick up that backpack and we're going to go ahead and pick up Hobbs. Poor son of a gun. Uh, we'll go pick him up. And Sand, if you can head over there. We'll go and pick up that uh, bit of meat. So when you do splint your injuries, it means that you can actually walk at a normal pace. Unfortunately, that's not happening right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... I don't think we can place down the sleeping bag in here. So even though we have a sleeping bag, we're probably not going to be sleeping in it outside of the town. Selected character is unconscious. Yes, that's true. Go ahead and put him in that bed there. Sand... Good job of coming over here and collecting the stuff. We'll go grab that, that, that. Uh, and we're going to go cook some meat real quick. Where is that campfire? There was a campfire out here. We can just create one ourselves um, if we need to. Camping, campfire. Pop you down here, confirm. Let's head out to it. Get some of this meat cooked up so it'll be ready to go. And let's hope that he... Uh, 200 wow wow okay yeah on second thoughts maybe not maybe we will, we will just be spending a little bit of time recovering here holy crap uh so you have the camp bed right now i don't think we can place it down in the town no we cannot uh we'll go ahead and place that down out here then so sand is currently running over towards the fireplace which is uh, there is one all the way over here. Where's the one that Sand was going to? I guess we'll do that. That could be where Sand was heading to. Oh, he's heading to that one there. Yeah, dismantle it. Come to this one. Wow, yeah. Um, okay, Hobbs, that's a very expensive bed. I see how they get us now. Sneaky, sneaky bastards. How about you go sleep for now, Park? Sand is eventually going to make his way over here and start cooking up this meat. Let's go ahead and give you that job. Look at him go. Cooking up a storm. So these, thankfully, we can sell. We can get a little bit from. Um, the animal skins and the teeth. So that's a bonus for us. Go ahead and just fast forward. Get a little bit more of that meat done. Need to make sure that we move it out of our inventory. 
Otherwise, once it reaches five, it won't produce any more. We're still eating lots as well. Good. Okay. Splint injuries. You don't have a splint kit. I know that Park does. And unfortunately, we only have one camp bed. So, they're going to have to take it in turns. Sand is going to be on recovery. Watch. Essentially, just making sure that no one sneaks up on him and tries to steal him while he rests here. And Hobbs is going to be recovering all the way up there. It is how things roll in Kenshi. We get stronger through our defeats. And, well, this was just a two bone dogs. So you can imagine how easily we would fall to larger numbers. Ah, uh, but for now, well, we're still alive and we are still free. That is the main thing for our band. Such is life in the harsh world of Kenshi. Thank you all for joining me for another episode. Now, starting from next week, we're going to be upping Kenshi to two episodes per week. I've really been enjoying playing Kenshi, and I'm always wanting to play it a hell of a lot more. And I'm relatively sure that it should be sustainable for us to produce two of them and still keep up with everything else on the channel as well. So I hope for some of you that that is exciting. The adventures of Sand, Park, and Hobbs will continue in the next. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time. Stay tuned.